Well, I would say about Coach Brent, uh, very knowledgeable basketball coach, uh, very easy coach to get along with. Uh, if Coach Brent said something to me, I would always have to take a look at it. Had very talented teams. As we know, when you have talented teams, it takes more coaching. So Coach uh, Brent did a super job. And, and then, as I can remember, other coaches too. Coach uh, Thomas Billups. Um, had great teams at Lanier. Um, sometimes the, um, the talent level was a little bit lower, but his coaching style got the best out of the players that he could get out of them. Sometimes people would think me and Coach uh, Billups didn't get along as well as expected. He had a job to do, and I had a job to do, and he did a great job. I, one thing I'll say about Coach Billups, Thomas Billups, over the years with Lanier, uh, he had a great respect for the referees, it didn't seem like it, but he did. He always made the players respect the referees. Uh, Coach uh, Luther Riley, uh, remember him at Provine, and then he went on to be at Murrah, another great coach. Uh, we had great coaches in the state of Mississippi. Harmon Sanders, uh, Wingsfield High School, great coach. Uh, I remember one year, Coach Sanders uh, went undefeated and then went on and, and got beat in the first round, but had a great team, great players, you know. Uh, and I say again, you know, when you have great players, it's, it's harder to coach them than it is to coach those players with a little less talent. Uh, JPS had a wealth of talent of coaches and players back then. And, you know, I cut my teeth at uh, JPS um, as a referee. Uh, and I really appreciate the coaches back then and the players be, and the crowds. Cause I mean, it was like it was a family oriented thing and, uh, but then the list goes on, you know, uh, with the coaches and the players. But uh, for the most part, I really enjoyed it back then. And it, it's something that I'll never forget. Uh, Coach uh, Bob Fritt, uh, actually, I, I'll say this. Coach Fritt was a referee. Uh, Coach Billups was a referee. So uh, one night I will be refereeing with those guys. And then the next thing you know, I'm coaching. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm refereeing with them. And then, you know, I got to referee their games as coaches, you know. Uh, Y'all probably don't remember this, but Irvin Chancellor was a coach at um, Powell Middle School. And I would referee with him, then I would call games with him. You know, uh, as I can remember, we're talking about JPS uh, in the middle school. The middle school was just as tough as the high school. I mean, I had a middle school tournament, and I had just got into basketball back in about, I think it was 1989. Irvin Chancellor was coaching at Powell, and I forgot who the coach was at Chastain. But we had the game, and the gym was so packed. I mean, it was just crowded, people just everywhere. And uh, at halftime, we were going through the little uh, aisleway there, and uh, Coach Chancellor looked at my partner, and he, say, he tells my partner, he says, man, you're not doing a good job today, you know? And I'm looking at him like, I'm doing a pretty good job. And he tells my partner, he says, you know, uh, if, if I was playing the Boston Celtics, they couldn't beat me today. So that was one of the great moments of uh, JPS middle school basketball coaches, and it was just tough, you know. So uh, I never forget those times with the crowds and, you know, but it was respect among each other, you know. It might not seem like it, but as I can go back and remember the coaches and the players, you know, it was a great respect for one another.